2020 has kicked off with a bang for December streets as they've recently been added to the Global Citizens hashtag Together at Home campaign. These indie pop musos with blending guitar-driven sounds and powerful synths and rhythmic vocals have climbed to fame over the years. And here they are with one of their latest music videos, Messed Up. I messed up with you Ladies, let's hear it for Tristan from December Streets. Hi Tristan. Hello, hello. Thanks for having me. Welcome to Afternoon Express. Looking oh so cool there. I feel like I need to be the next honorary member of December Streets. <laughs> I think so. There's definitely some positions available. Auditions will happen next week. Thanks for letting me know, South Africa, you already saw it here first. Now, what have you been up to, Tristan, during this national lockdown? So, I'm luckily fortunate enough to be locked down in a studio at my house. So, I've been making a lot of music and reading a lot. I don't know, doing some self-introspection, but planning the next steps for the band is mostly what I've been up to. Now, you've also recently become the second musical act from South Africa to be added to the Global Citizens Together at Home campaign. So how does this yeah. feel to be part of such a powerful campaign and to be recognized by such a global audience? Oh, it was mind-blowing, I'm not going to lie. Like, when I first got the news, I was kind of like, wait, what? <laughs> Hold on a sec. <laughs> and then the pressure dropped that we actually have to do this performance now on such a big platform. So it was really an honor and super exciting to be part of the whole Global Citizen campaign. Yeah, I can completely understand that duality between being excited and then extremely nervous because you have to mm -hmm. perform. But you guys do so extremely well as December Streets. Now, since the release of your hugely popular single, Summertime and Messed Up in 2019, we've been eagerly waiting for a new single and finally you've delivered. So let's take a look at your latest single, Haters. I made it, keep telling myself I'm famous, still living with a mom in a basement. That's my life, I'm loving it, loving it Them haters keep telling themselves they hate us And saying that we're never gonna make it That's my life Middle fingers up to the haters Yeah, 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 don't hate us cause you ain't us Yeah, middle fingers up to the haters Yeah, 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 don't hate us cause you ain't the title Haters creates many questions. So what was the concept behind the idea of the track? So growing up in school, being into music and not necessarily so much into sports, I was always kind of marginalized wanting to be in a band. So I really got bullied for it quite a bit, actually, which I thought wasn't, wasn't cool. And like uh, what I wanted to tell the story through was the ability for yourself to equip yourself with the confidence to let yourself shine and the confidence to push past anyone that's a, a hater or might say negative things to you and really just be proud of who you are. And that's really what the song encapsulates. Mm, that is such a powerful message because you know what they say, right? I think Kevin Hart once said it, that if you don't have any haters, you ain't popping. But then this is also <laughs> another way to take haters and spin it into something positive as that driving force to keep being the individual and that unique spark that you are. Thank you for that message. Yeah. Sure, exactly. Now, the COVID-19 pandemic has caused a lot of stress, especially in the music industry. How have you guys changed your approach to still be able to engage with fans and continue to create music? So, yeah, there's definitely been a massive opportunity that's opened up over here. Whereas in the past, I almost feel like there was a big barrier between artists and their fans and between artists as well. But what this pandemic has created is really a sense of community and connectedness. So... Before we never, I mean, you never really used to see anyone performing online or doing interviews like this online. Mm -hmm. What I feel this pandemic has opened up is a combination of technology and a dropping of barriers. So we connect directly with fans. We chat to fans directly, like far more openly than we would in the past. So I really think that's a massive positive spinoff and a really good way to market and engage. Mm. And I think fans love the fact that they have that direct connection to you. It just makes them feel part of the family. And I mean, even for us as fans of other bands and artists, 
we easily you know, reach out, you know, slide into their DMs and they respond and we chat and we collaborate. So there's really just this whole community in the music scene that we're, we're trying to keep alive and keep pushing forward. And I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to breed some beautiful things going forward. Mm. And speaking about going forward, what does the future look like for the December streets? What can we expect? <sighs> So we are working on a new album. A lot of people have asked where all our old music is because we've been doing this for many years. So what we're going to release is a Best of December Streets album that will include all the older tracks and hits and then a whole bunch of new music. So we're working hard on that and hopefully we can get on the road and tour around the country and be down in Cape Town and Durban and Seaborn again. That's what we're planning to do. Trust me, every venue is going to be filled. Looking forward to getting that greatest hits album from the December streets. Thank you so much, <laughs> yeah. Tristan. Thank you for having me. We cannot wait to see it all unfold. Tristan, again, you're joining us here on Afternoon Express and you keep sharing your creativity with us, which we are so grateful for. To all of those at home, remember to embrace your individuality and to be proud of who you are.